for the lead shaping up here with Jason Ashby and Kyle Hunt. Jason's going to drive it on down into turn one. Possibly get Kyle. Oh, he did hit him. He's trying to use the bump and run here at Richmond. Jason Ashby looking to the inside of Kyle Henneman off of turn two. He scrapes the wall, but he's going to get the run down the back, and he'll dive to the inside and take the lead. One lap to go for Casey Gleason at Atlanta Motor Speedway on the verge of his first ever Noble Series win in just his second start. He's had a few starts back in the Rockstar Energy League days for Jackson Gleason, but never seriously contended for the win until today. He held off Liam Irvig on a final restart and now headed down into turn three. He's on the verge of his first ever win. He's been using that high side to his advantage all day, and that's how he took the lead on this final restart. Coming out of turn four, Casey Gleason will win at Atlanta. Like walking into a dream, someone like what you've seen, so much but it seems. God's been waiting for you, rolling into this place, giving you a small taste. Up and round till I feel so stale, you'll be back. Na-na-na-na, na-na-na-na, na-na-na-na-na-na-na. I am aware that I am an asshole, I really don't care about all of that though. Liam Irving will pick up his first ever Noble Series win in a wild finish at Talladega. And Miles Anderson will start the Noble season outright by winning the Sprint Unlimited at Daytona. It's certainly been a long road to the top for Tim Fiegel. A few few tires on that final pit stop was certainly the winning move for him. Jackson Gleason five seconds back, no pressure, Tim Fiegel. As he dives it down into turn three, Tim Fiegel's gonna come out a champion here today. And he will finally get his first ever win in the Noble Series. Tim Fiegel wins it at Chicago. White flag at Daytona, Kyle Hennerman going underneath Danny Wells. Coming out of turn four, he won it season one, he's gonna do it again, and Kyle Henneman will become the two-time winner of the Daytona 500. White flag is out here at Daytona. Liam Irving leads Kyle Henneman and Alex Jones down into turn one. Kyle Henneman won it the last time they were here at Daytona. Can he do it again? He's leaving a lot of room back to Liam Irving. And what about Danny Wells and Jackson Gleason back in fourth and fifth? Can they make a run at the lead? Kyle's got to be thinking, where is he going to make his move? Down the back stretch. There he goes to the outside of Liam Irving. Alex is following him down the back straightaway, but can't clear Liam Irving. So it's Kyle, then Liam, then Alex down into turn three for the final time today. Liam's getting a run off of turn four. Can he make a move? Coming to the finish line, side by side, Liam Irving and Kyle Henneman for the Coke Zero 400. 
bumping and banging coming to the finish. Kyle Henneman is going to win it. Right about now, it's time to get busy. One, two, three, six. Shut the fuck up and bring that ballistic. Rip from the biscuit, straight through the speakers with the hey, hey. Check this future shock, a rock revolution, punk. Oh my god, here it comes, so shut it up. You keep on talking, we go shut your ass straight the fuck up. Call the cops, look up in the stands, got another ride on our hands. An absolutely dominating performance by Danny Wells here tonight at Texas Motor Speedway. He will win the AAA Texas 500. White flag is out here at Talladega. Coming out of turn four, it's Danny Wells and Miles Anderson to decide the victory between them. Danny's right behind Miles, but can he get a run? Coming down into the tri-oval where the start-finish line is further down than Daytona. Danny Wells has a run to the outside. Side by side to the line and he takes the checkered. After dominating today here at Auto Club Speedway, Joey Stone will become the first two-time winner in the 2015 season. Joey Stone, after just his second race back from suspension, has taken the white flag here at Kansas. Didn't dominate the day like he thought he would. That was Jackson Gleason and Danny Wells leading the way for most of the race. But he used pit strategy to come out first and is leading at the white flag. Down into turn three for the final time today. Joey Stone making that high side work for him. He's gonna come off of turn four and pick up his third victory of the 2015 season. Joey Stone wins it at Kansas. After picking up his first win of the season just a few weeks ago in Richmond, Jackson Gleason takes the white flag here again at Dover. He swept it last year when he won the championship, and this could be a sign of things to come in the chase. But today, it's all about Jackson Gleason getting his second victory of the season as he takes it into three and four. He will come out of turn four and win the Autism Speaks 400. Check my hits, I 